I want to call up my brother to sing a song with me.
simple, clever, listen. The mountains will crumble and the hillside will fade away. But my love for you will not end. One more time, everybody together. The mountains will crumble. One more time, louder, let's go. The mountains will crumble and the hillside will fade away. But my love for you will not end. Welcome back to the next episode of the Incredible Kids Podcast. My name is Moritz Siri, and I will be your host through this incredible journey. We are going to meet many incredible kids. They are going to share with us their stories. Some of them super cool and different like you've never heard before. And some you may say are just ordinary, but all of them incredible. If you have great ideas, email me today at ikidspodcast at gmail.com. And now it's time for Incredible Kids. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another week of the Incredible Kids, the Hillam Army. I'm so excited to welcome everybody here on another beautiful Sunday um, in the spring. So that's a really big challenge to really stop what we're doing and come together to see the Hillam and to have some achdos, unite, have some simcha and joy and happiness. And remember that we're all such important parts of the Jewish nation. Today specifically, um, I'm, I feel like this is a, the right thing to be doing today. Um, after hearing a little bit of, a little, a lot of bit of hard news to hear about, you know, Eretz Yisrael, but Baruch Hashem, it seems like, it seems, Hashem is always looking out for us, but there was a little bit of a scare over Shabbos and Eretz Yisrael, and some of you might know about it, but either way, the point is that we should never ever forget that Hashem is in charge. Our tefillos matter. Our tefillos count so much, especially, I don't have to say it for the millionth time, but I will, and I'll let you say it with me. So I, I believe that you you know this and you can say it with me. It all, it all lies on, it all lies on all of us, but it's all so powerful when it comes from who? From you. That's right. From the kids, from the incredible kids of Kali Yisrael. You are so special and even one parak of Tehillim or just a few words or whatever you're able to say here together is so, so powerful. Tonight, we are so lucky that we have Rabbi Moshe Weinberger. He's a very, very, very big Rav in the five towns. And um, I know some people here are are very excited because he might even be your Zadie, right? Um, or maybe he's your Rav. I saw some people wrote that in their name. He's our Rav or, you know. Um, so it's very, very, very exciting f- for us to have such a, such an important Rav here on the program to talk to each and every one of you, each and every one of us, um, about our special job right now, you know, during this time of, of, a, of a war for the Jewish people, but all the time to remember how special you guys are. And so I'm going to let him introduce himself. I just want to say thank you, um, to everyone for being here. And I just want to say thank you to, um, our sponsor for this week, 
Remember, if anybody, um, if anybody would like to be a sponsor, you could always reach out to ikidspodcast at gmail.com. And um, okay, so for this whole week, it's sponsored anonymously um, for the safe and immediate return of the hostages and protection of the Chayalim as they bravely defend Israel. Thank you to that um, anonymous sponsor. And now um, we're going to introduce Rabbi Moshe Weinberger. And after Rabbi Weinberger, oh, by the way, sorry to interrupt, but I'm getting distracted by my wrist. I'm wearing a beautiful bracelet. I love it so much. Thank you to Tova Gross, the incredible Tova Gross from Waterbury. I've been wearing a bracelet and I love it so much. It just makes me so happy to know that there are incredible kids in so many communities that I never got to meet yet, but hopefully I'll meet you soon. Okay. So Rabbi Moshe Weinberger is with us right now. He is going to address all of us. I consider myself to be part of this army of children. And um, I'm so I'm so thrilled to have you here. And then after Rabbi Moshe Weinberger, I need my teleprompter. You know who you are to remind me that I have a very special announcement to make about the health challenge coming up soon for Pesach. So Rabbi Weinberger, I'm going to spotlight you and you should be able to unmute yourself. Okay. Hi, welcome to the Tehillim Army. We're so happy that we have you here. Thank you, thank you. First of all, children, I want to, I want to thank the wonderful commander in chief that you have of this amazing army, the Maritiri. Uh, I can't tell you how how moved I am. What this incredible woman has been able to accomplish by bringing this army of you beautiful children together is something which is, I think it's never happened in all of history that we were able to bring children together in such a way and to daven together. So I want to thank your commander in chief, the general of this army, Marit Siri. Thank you. I like that title, commander in chief. Okay, I, 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 also you, want, Hashem. I also want to give a shout out to my my dear and delicious grandchildren who I know are, are watching now. The Shana Malka and Alicia Perlau, to Israel, Aaron Dovid and Sari Blobstein, and to Rayla Tepfer, and really to all of the Kindle, which I wish we would be able to be together right now in Yushlaim. And we're going to be together in Yushlaim very, very soon. I want to share with you a story, and I hope that through this story, you'll have a greater and deeper appreciation of what really, what it is that you're accomplishing with these few minutes. When you, when you join together, what is it that's really happening? This story took place sometime, I think, in the, in the 1950s, maybe the early 1960s, in Yushalayim. At that time, it was a pretty new neighborhood called Bayit Vagan. Some of you might have actually been there. Bayit Vagan was just being built. And at that time, that neighborhood had the schus of, of there being a very great rav by the name of Rabbi Cheskel of Ramsky, who had originally come from Europe and then was a rabbi in, was in London. And finally, the last years of his life, he was in Yerushalayim in Bayit Vagan. Rabbi Cheskel of Ramsky was a brilliant, brilliant tzaddik. One day, he was walking through the streets of Bayit Vagan in Yerushalayim with a, with a student of his. And they were talking in Torah they were discussing the shear that Rabbi Bramsky had just given, and they were in a heated discussion back and forth. Gemara, Rashi, Toshis, you know, they were talking and learning, which Jews love to do. And and Mitzvah Hashem, all of you will grow in your, in your knowledge of Torah. And Rabbi Cheskel and his student were enjoying that. And and all of a sudden, out of what seemed to be no reason at all, Rabbi Cheskel put up his hand to stop the conversation, and he turned to talk to a little girl, to be the same age as many of you, a little girl, she was maybe maybe eight or nine years old. And this little girl was sitting on the sidewalk and she was crying. And Rabbi Cheskel turned to the little girl and, and he asked her, why are you crying? Is something wrong? And she said, that my friend was just here and she told me that my dress is ugly 
that her dress is pretty, that my dress is not pretty at all, that I'm wearing a dress that's that's ugly. And she was very, very hurt and she was crying. So Rabbi Cheskel Ramsky asked her, Tagidili, tell me, what is your name? So she said that my name is Shifra. It could be that some of you have that name, Shifra. Shifra is a very, very beautiful name. It's very meaningful in the story of Pesach, of Yitzhak and I'm sure that you know that. But what you might not realize, some of you might not know, is that Shifra, the name Shifra, means beauty, beautiful. So Rabbi Cheskel said to the little girl, your name is Shifra. I want you to know something. Shifra, your name means beauty. And I want you, I want you to know that I think that you are the most beautiful girl in the whole Jewish line. And I want you to know that the dress that you're wearing, in my opinion, is the most beautiful dress in all of Jewish line. And I want you to go right now and tell your Ima, tell your, your mommy, your mother, tell her that you met Rabbi Cheskel of Ramsky and that Rabbi Ramsky wanted you to know that you are the most beautiful girl and that your dress is the most beautiful dress in all of Yerushalayim. And she was so excited that she jumped up and she skipped all the way home to go to tell her mother what she had just heard. After this happened, so Rabbi Abramsky turned back to his student. And this young man was very, very surprised. He thought that it was a strange conversa conversation that his Rebbe had with a little girl, number one. Number two, that his Rebbe would actually interrupt the study of Torah to talk to a little girl about her dress and to tell a little girl that she was wearing a pretty dress and that, and that she's a pretty girl. So... The young man thought that it was very, very odd. He was afraid to say anything to the Rebbe. But these were his thoughts. But Rabbi Cheskelevramsky knew what he was thinking. And children, I want you to listen carefully. Because this is what you're all about. And this is what you're doing right now. And this is how you're, you're actually saving Am Yisrael. Listen. Rabbi Cheskelevramsky said to his student, Our entire job in this world is to do whatever we can not only to listen to Hashem, and not only to serve Hashem, but to be as much as possible like Hashem. To try to be like Hashem. We can't be Hashem, but to be like Hashem. Just as Hashem is so loving and caring, we have to try to be loving and caring. Just as Hashem is patient, we have to try to be patient. Just as Hashem is filled with joy, we have to be happy. We were taught that, there's a, one of, that one of the ways of Hashem, it says in the Pasuk, that means that we ask Hashem, and it's the way of Hashem, to erase our tears. To erase our tears. Do you know what it means to erase someone's tears? Rav Chazkel said that when someone is hurt, it doesn't make a difference if it's a little girl, it doesn't make a difference if it's an adult, a little boy or a grown man, when there's a Jew who is crying because he or she is suffering or in pain, because he or she is afraid, worried, nervous, or hurt. One of the ways of Hashem is that Hashem does something amazing to erase those tears from the person's face. And Rabbi Cheskel said, when Mashiach will come, the first thing that's going to happen is that every single tear of every single Jew is going to be erased. It's going to be taken away. There'll be no more crying. There'll be no more crying at all. So if Yecheskel said to his student, I know you're surprised that I stopped our conversation of Torah to talk to this little girl, but I want you to know, I saw that that little girl was crying. It didn't make a difference for what reason she was crying. I saw that there was something that was hurting her. And that's why she was crying. And we all cry sometimes. We're all hurting sometimes. As, as Marit Siri said, that there was something that happened over Shabbos and Eretz Yisrael. And after Shabbos and over our Moshe Shabbos and Eretz Yisrael, 
and he, thank Baruch Hashem, everybody's okay, but many, many, many people were crying. They were afraid, they were terrified, they were hearing sirens, they were running, they didn't know what was going to be. And throughout this entire war, there are many, many people who are crying because there are Jews who are hurt. There are Chayalim and others who, were, who have been Lo'aleinu have been taken from us and they're now in Shemaim. And there are many, many mommies and daddies, mothers and fathers who are crying. So Rabbi Cheskel said to his student, I wanted to do the mitzvah of erasing tears from the face of a Jew. And that's why I told Shifra, you should know, first of all, Shifra, in, in my eyes and in Hashem's eyes, every Jew is so beautiful. I only have a little phone here. Am I looking at, I'm looking at some of your faces. And each face that I'm looking at, children, each one of your faces is so pure and so beautiful. And Hashem should never, ever, ever, ever allow there to be tears on your beautiful faces. But sometimes there are Jews who are crying. And Rav Cheskel said that it's a mitzvah to do our best to take away those tears, to cheer the person up, to make the person feel happy, to give the person strength, to give chizu. So this is what really, what Incredible Kids is all about. Children, you don't realize that there are Jews all over the world who are getting unbelievable chizik, especially in Eretz Yisrael. Jews who are Jews who are afraid, Jews who are, who are hurt, Jews who are suffering, Jews who are crying for different reasons. And when you get together and you say Tehillim, you might not realize, besides the fact that Hashem is listening to every word of your tefillahs, just because you're there and just because you care, you're drying off the tears, you're taking away the tears from the eyes of many, many, many Jews. And that's the greatest mitzvah in the world, to take away the tears of people who are sad, of people who are afraid and who are crying. So I want to give each and every one of you the biggest bracha from the bottom of my heart. First of all, may the only tears that you cry be tears of happiness. May you laugh so hard that you cry from laughter. Those are tears that are not erased. The tears that come from laughing hard, and may you all laugh hard and have only simch and joy in your lives. And I want to remind you, children, that when you see another Jew in school or your own sibling at home, and you see that he or she is sad, stop for a second, remember the story of Rav Avramsky, of Rabbi Chesko, and see what you could do to try to erase the tears. And in that schus, may it be that all of you should only have simcha and joy, and may it come to be that Hashem will finally, finally erase all the tears of the Jewish people. And we're going to laugh and laugh until we can't stop crying. And we welcome Hashem, it's a okay, no, it should be. I'm here, be amen, amen, amen. Amen. I don't know what just happened with my thing, but amen. That was so, so, so beautiful. And Rev, Rev Weinberger, um, it's very special because I think I could be wrong, but do you, does the Rav usually speak for children or for adults? I, I, I really speak for adults. I, I don't speak for, for children. That's why I'm not good at it. So I know the opposite. I, I feel like you're everybody's lady right now. Like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like we're sharing you with the Pearl Owls. Like everybody, everybody gets to have like, you know, there's such a beautiful, the way that the Rav is like noticing, yes, all of these beautiful faces, you don't even have to know them personally to know that each of the children who are here and that's a hell of army or the ones who are not here that will come, you know, when it's convenient for them, but the, each and every one of them who wants to be here is so pure and so special and so dedicated to the Jewish people. And, and it's amazing that the Rav could see that just from looking at their faces, because what you see is what you get. These, these people, these children, the incredible kids here are so pure on the outside and on the inside. It's all the same. It's like their face is like a, what do we call it? Like a glass, right? Like in, into their, into their neshama. Um, and I think that's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing a story about a God doll that we could all um, like really, it's such a, it's so nice to hear the stories about Godola and that, you know, they always care about us, but they really like, they'll do any, even for a child or someone, you know, sorry, it's beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. And I mean, to the brachos, we should all see Mashiach very soon. And, um, we shouldn't have no more tears. We have a lot of tears here at the Hillam army because the commander in chief over here has a lot of tears. <laughs> and a lot of times we cry together and I'm, 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 I'm so hopeful that those tears will all be, 
um, part of what builds the base of Mikdash, all of the collective tears, because these children have tears also. I've heard from a few parents um, since last night when their children, you guys, some of you here are listening and you're, you might be thinking, oh, that was, that was me. My mother was the one who emailed you. Um, people said like the, their kids said, oh, did you hear there were, you know, rockets in Eretz Yisrael? Like, let's run and get our Tehillim. And the children were the ones to inspire the rest of the family to stay Tehillim. And the children were the ones who sat down and led Tehillim for the parents and the other children there on their own, on their own. Really, really, I see some people nodding their heads. It's so absolutely beautiful. Um, so thank you, Rabbi Weinberger, for bringing that out and, and all the children and going to stay Tehillim now together and we'll have that in mind. Have a good Yanta. Thank you. Okay. So everybody, we are going to, first of all, let's see if all of our incredible kids could give a big thank you round of applause for Rev Moshe Weinberger for joining us here on the Tehillim RV program. And then now it's time for all of you to take out your Tehillims. Um, I did say that before we started Tehillim, thank you for the reminders. Um, I was going to tell you about the health challenge, which I did up, update on the Incredible Kids website. So while I'm telling you about the health challenge, which some of you remember from Thursday, I started to tell you, um, while I'm telling you about it, you can open up your Tehillim to Parag Yod Gimel. For the beginning, Parag Yod Gimel, we're going to see two Prakim today. We're going to see Parag Yod Gimel, and then we're going to flip to Parag Kof Lamed toward the end. So just let's start with Yod Gimel at the beginning. And, um, and I'm going to tell you about this health challenge. So this health challenge is it's called the um on the web on the incredible kids website you can find it i, I said i was going to put it on the website and i did so when you go to incrediblekids.org on the tehillim army page there's a link that says um kids pay Sach health challenge and it will go straight to the website and you'll be able to print it i'm going to actually show you now i'm going to do it from my phone um to show you exactly what it looks like so it's so easy to find obviously um someone in your house who can go on the internet will be able to do it with you or for you. Um, so when you go to incrediblekids.org, this is incrediblekids.org, then you're going to press on the Hillam Army. There's the Hillam Army. And then you have these links over here. So that's where you would have the raffle. And then the one on the bottom right over here says Kids Pesach Health Challenge. See the carrot and the running emoji. So when you press on it, it goes straight to the website over here. And you can see all the details for the Pesach 2024 Health Challenge. And then all you press is download the chart. And the chart, um, the Nefesh Inspired Health Challenge, is led by Coach K. And Coach K is a man who cares very, very much that children and adults should, as good Jewish members of society and Avde Hashem, we should be taking care of of our health, which we all know is true. Like if I asked you, what do you think Hashem wants from me? Should I every single day be drinking water or soda? What should I be drinking? I think every person, unless they were trying to be silly and make a joke, everybody would say water is more healthy for you. And if, you know, so if we make those kind of healthy decisions over Yantif by following this chart, which is very simple, you'll see it just shows you like different boxes to check. And there's really fun prizes to win after Yantif for people who participate. Raise your hand if you want to try to participate. Let me see. Raise your hand if you want to try to participate. I'm going to raise my hand because I think I mentioned on Thursday that I'm going to try to be in this challenge also. I'm not sure if it's really for my age, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. And <laughs> and um, because I want to come out of Yandif feeling like I can serve Hashem by taking care of my body. It's going to help me be better at the Hashem. And, you know, we have different people in class well who do different things. Some people take, you know, are risking their lives for Hashem, like our soldiers, right? And some of us are saying to Hillen, but we can also live al Kiddush Hashem and every single day make choices to have a healthy life so that we can continue to keep our bodies healthy and be able to serve Hashem properly the way that we're supposed to. Of course, we're all going to have Nash over on death and whatever, but we have to just keep certain things in check. So check that out. Um, and okay, we're going to start, let's show our, the Hillims. let's see over here. Let's see, do, does our friend over there, oh, he ran away. <laughs> our friend over here. Oh, the glorious Greenfield. Let's see. Oh, I love what you did with your Tehillim. You were like snuggling with it for a second. It was like so precious to you. I love that. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody. Thank you for being part of the Tehillim. Oh, there he is. There's our friend over here. Hello. I spotlighted you before and then you, you probably ran to get your Tehillims, right? <laughs> you have two? Are you going to share it? 
Where's your siblings? They're coming? Oh, okay. You snooze, you lose. Okay, let's see who else we have here. Um, we have Chaya Kohn from Baltimore. Thank you for being part of the Tehillim Army. Wow, look at you already open to the place. Okay, so today we're going to be starting with your Gimel. I'm going to open up to my Tarak your Gimel. And um, let's get our first Tehillim reader on the line. Hi there. Can you try to unmute yourself? Hello? Hi, welcome. What's your name? Asher. Hi, Asher. Where are you from? Baltimore. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're my neighbor. Okay, Asher. Um, we're going to be saying Parak Yod Gimel. Uh, last time, or one of the times that we said Parak Yod Gimel was on the, were you part, were you here when, when I was in Poland? Did you join that night when I was on the bus in Poland? So that oh. night, um, so when I was in Poland, we, we did this from the bus. I was like on a tour bus and somebody on the tour bus um, told me afterwards, I can't believe you, you said Parag Yod Gimel. And I wish I would have known because he said the next time you say Parag Yod Gimel with the Tehillim army, can you tell me now? I don't know who said this. So I don't listen. I know every Parag of Tehillim is very special, right? Asher? Like I'm sure all the Tehillim is special for many reasons, Besides that, David Amalek put it together and it's for, for us to, for us to use and say, to connect to Hashem at all times. But he said that Parak Yud Gimel, according to his Rebbe, Parak Yud Gimel is a Parak that you can say and ask Hashem for anything. So anytime that you feel like you want to ask Hashem for your deepest desire, you should say Parak Yud Gimel. I don't know why, but this is what he told me. He said, please tell the Tehillim army that if you want something from Hashem, you really, really need a Yeshua for something. You really want something. You should choose to say Parag Yod Gimel. So I don't know. I don't know what who his Rebbe is or whatever, but I said, I'll say that. So I'm saying it. And I'm saying it because we could say that we could think that all the time, but it's a real thing that the, the Tehillim is there to connect me and Hashem. Nobody's in between us. It's just straight. So if everybody could think for a minute of something that we really, really, really want, Maybe we need it for our family, for me personally, maybe for someone else, maybe for someone in Eretz Yisrael, right? You can think about what it is that we really, really want. Okay, Asher, you want to do that with me? Yeah, okay. but all this to him should be as a chas for my cousin. He got injured in Gaza. His name is Moshe Aaron ben Leah Bela. Moshe Aaron ben Leah Bela should have a Rafua Shalema. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope he really, really... Hope he gets better very soon. Is this ha does it happen recently? Um, like six weeks ago. That's recent. Okay. Well, keep us updated. We hope he gets better very soon. Okay, Asha, you're gonna say Pasak Aleph, and all of the children and adults will repeat after you. Okay. I'm not saying Ms. Marla David. Ad ana adonai teshkacheni natach ad ana tastir as panacha mimani. Ana ashes a tois benafi yagan go vavi yamam ad ana yurum ivi alai. Ad ana ashes a tois benafi yagon belvavi yomam ad ana yarum ivi alai. Abita ane. Anani adanai alai hai ha ira enai pen ishan hamavas. Habita anini adonai alohai ha ira enai pen ishan hamavas. Yomar ivi yechol tev taraya gilo ki amait. Pen yomar ivi yechol tev taraya gilo ki amo. La ani bechasko vatahti yagel libi bishua seho. Ashira Danai ki gamal alai. Vaani, Vachastacha, Vatahti, Yagal, Libi, Bishua Sacha, Ashira Adonai ki gamal alai. And I hope very soon, we just said in that last Pasuk over there, it makes me so, ha like, makes me so hopeful in a sad time when we say that Pasuk at the end. I, Vaani, Vachastacha, Vatahti, I believe that Hashem will do Chasad with us. It's gonna, there's going to be a time and already now we could, we could always be happy but 
you're going to see very soon, there's going to be a time when Mashiach will come and all these things like your cousin in, in Gaza who was injured and will, for some reason, will understand why all these terrible things had to happen and things will be better and we'll be able to be happy. And Ashira la Hashem means I'm going to sing to Hashem. That's how much clarity there is going to be. I'm going to sing to Hashem. He did so much good for us. And it's going to happen really, really soon with all our tefillos. I know it. Thank you, Asher. You did great. You want to... Yeah, please. I was going to say, do you want to say anything um, special to anyone? A shout out to Yosef Shabbos and to all my friends and 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 classmates and cousins that are on it. Beautiful. They must all be so proud of you, but you should be so proud of yourself above all. Thank you so much, Ashar. You did great. Hope to see you around Baltimore now. Okay. Our next parak is Kuf Lamed. Everybody could flip to Kuf Lamed. I'm watching this boy over here named Morgan. You have such a great attention span. I see you focused and following Tarek Kof Lamed, everybody. And we have two brothers who are going to lead it for us together. Let's get them on the line. Hello. Can you unmute yourselves? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. What are your names and where do you live? Ozzy uh, from Chicago. Chicago. Hi, Ozzy. And who? What's what's your name? Your other brother? Isaac. Ozzy and Isaac. Yeah. And who are you in the back? Aviva. Hello. And who are you? Dina. Hi, everybody. Okay, so all the way from Chicago. Beautiful. We're gonna say Parak Kuf Lamed. Ozzy and Isaac. Are you gonna like do half and half, or do you want to switch off? No. I'm just going to do it. Oh, just you? Okay. So, Isaac, you want to say it? You could repeat with all of us, right? If you want. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to we're gonna start Kuf Lamed. Um, and you guys ready? Okay. So, Ozzy, you're on whenever you're ready. Share how my life with Mama Kim. Trust me, Father, die. Shir Hamalot mi mama kem karasicha Adonai. Adonai Shema ve'kolit tiyana aznacha kashivos lekol tachanunai. Adonai Shema ve'kolit tiyana aznacha kashivos lekol tachanunai. Im avunos teshmar ya Adonai mi amor. He emcha haslicha leman tivare. He emcha haslicha leman tivare. He visi adonai kevesa nafshi veledvaro ho chalti. Nafshi ladonai mishomerim la biker, shomerim la biker. Nafshi ladonai mishomerim la boker, shomerim la boker. Yachal Yisrael al Adonai Kim Adonai Hachesed v'Harbe Imay Fados. Yachal Yisrael al Adonai Kim Adonai Hachesed v'Harbe Imo Fados. Who Yifta es Yisrael mikol avonosav? My needle doesn't work. Who Yifta es Yisrael mikol avonosav? Okay, I'm going to say that Misha Beirach and oops, I don't know what I just did. Your, oh, you're still there. You're still there. I'm going to say the Misha Berach and you guys, chin chin kids, you could all say Amin, okay? We're going to think about the Chayalim. We'll think about um, everybody, especially in our Israel right now, who like Rabbi Weinberger was just telling us, even though Baruch Hashem, a huge Nisim, that everyone's okay after the scary thing that happened yesterday, but there are a lot of tears. There are a lot of people who are worried and nervous, Right. And for all of them, we need to dive in too, that everyone's tears get wiped away. So let's, let's be part of that. Let's be part of making it, you know, making things better so that we could almost like we can't go to their face and dry their tears. But by us saying to Helen, we are really drying off their tears. Yitin Adonai as Ayavinu, Hakamem Alinu Negafem Lafnehem, Akadush Barahu Yad Barson Inu Tachtehem, Via Tree Mikasa Yushua, Uva Taras Nitahom, Vikuyam, Ahem Akasav, Ki Adonai Elohicham, 
ההוליך עמכם להילחם עמכם אם אביכם להושיע אסכם ונאמר אמין. אמין. אוקיי, ביוטיפול צ'ילדרן, who wants to say shout outs? מי? Let's go. That's why, that's why you're here. I know, I know. What do you want to say, Isaac? Do <laughs> you want to say, you want your sisters to go first? Anybody want to say anything? It's okay. Yeah, me. <laughs> okay, so go for it. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Everyone say hi, Isaac. <laughs> hi, Isaac. Okay, Ozzy, do you want to say anything to all the kids out there? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you to everybody. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you for being part of the Tehillim Army, all of you. And keep joining us every, every time we're here and we'll bring Mashiach together. Okay, everybody, it's time for us to move on to our raffles. And it, I, before I start, I just want to say that it's really, really important that um throughout the week it's so easy to like forget to say our tehillim because like i said it's beautiful outside um some of you don't even have school this week maybe and it's like a little hectic there's errands to do there's pesach to get ready to clean but it could be such a beautiful thing if everyone in your family stops at six o'clock together everyone like just you know oh it's time for tehillim and all you gotta do is say either you say it together or somebody can lead it for everybody And, and you guys know these prakim already, right? Like if you're here long enough, it's, it gets easier when we say them again and again and again. And, um, but it doesn't mean that it gets less meaningful because now that you know them, you can start to really feel them and understand them maybe a little bit better. So today we're going to be giving away three copies of this book. It's a brand new book called Leaving Mitzrayim by Art Scroll. And if you use the code incredible, if you want to order this book at the Art Scroll website, And you'll get free shipping on this book, Leaving Mitzrayim, A Jewish Boy's Ancient Diary. I love books like this because it feels like you're reading something like really interesting, but it's really based on real stuff like Leaving Mitzrayim. And part of what you got to do when you're reading the Haggadah is not just read the Haggadah, you're supposed to like live the Haggadah. You need to feel at the Seder like you left Mitzrayim, okay? So actually... Well, maybe I'll tell you this is different. Um, if you guys have a really good memory, I have something to tell you, but I'm not going to say it till Thursday. It's too, it's too far away for Pesach for me to say this. I have some really fun tips to share with everybody about getting ready for the Seder, about how you can make Pesach more fun for you, even though Pesach is always fun. But I'm going to save some tips for Thursday if anybody wants to, you know, hear some, some interesting things about how Pesach can be more interesting for you. Um, but anyways, So this is a great book. We're going to raffle off three of them. We're also going to be raffling off some of our, uh, one of our plushable um, doggy blankets that I love. And now that it's going to be travel season, I'm definitely going to be using one in the car when we're traveling because who doesn't want to be warm and cozy in the car? Um, and then, so that that's this in case for anyone who's new here, you guys know how much I love this thing. And um, we also are going to do an uh, thank you to our anonymous sponsor who sponsored another one of these books, A House Full of Torah about Rav Chaim Kanievsky. And then we're also going to give away some incredible kids to Hillim Army patches. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share the first wheel with you. And then we're going to do some concert tickets for the for Bring concert, which is coming up, which is coming up really, really soon. Okay, so I'm going to do share. Share the screen. And our first raffle is going to be for the first Leaving Mitzrayim book. We're going to do three of them. So here is number one, Leaving Mitzrayim book number one. You have better chances today because we have a little bit of a smaller audience tonight. So you have better chances of winning. You know what that means. The Meltzers, Devo Meltzer at gmail.com. Woohoo. Okay. Second prize. I love that enthusiasm, New Earth kid. Um, second prize goes to... Berkowitzes, why Berkey at gmail.com. That's so cute that the Berkowitzes call themselves Berkeys. Adorable. Okay, here goes the third one. Third one of this book called Leaving What's Where I Am Hot Off the Press. Just in time for the holidays. Knock Demon. We have 
zknockdemon at gmail.com. And okay, now moving right along, we're going to do the plushable blanket. Thank you to the Kuta family for sponsoring once again. And our winner of the cozy blanket, that's also something that you can wear, is the Beckers, estermalka at gmail.com. And now for the book called A House Full of Chassad. And I see you. I see you, Vigo kids, who are holding up the book to show everybody a visual. <laughs> Hi, guys. And the winner is the Avigdors, fapperman129 at gmail.com. Okay, and now for the Tehillim Army patches. Tehillim Army patches are going to the very adorable, incredible, lucky Yechielis, S Yechieli at yahoo.com okay and now i'm going to switch over the wheel to the um concert wheel so for any men or boys in the audience on tuesday is the ultimate fabring concert with barry weber and lipa schmelzer and ari hill and dovi meisels and arla Samet. i think i just got all of their names by heart i'm gonna kiss my brain for that because that was that was hard work um, so the five of them are making an awesome concert for boys only. Yes, there will be something for girls one day. Um, but this is on Tuesday night and it's coming up and somebody here is going to win five tickets in five, in four, in three, in two, in one and go. And the winner is none other than. None other than the Gerwitzes, Shoshi911 at gmail.com. So happy for you guys. That's amazing. Pretty sure I know who you are also. I'm pretty sure you said to heal him here recently. That's really, really exciting. Okay, everybody. So it's Sunday. Like I said before, we're going to be saying to heal him on our own Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But then on Thursday, we're going to be here with the incredible Dobi Meisels. He's going to sing for us, bring your instruments, bring your guitars and your microphones and all your, all your jazz, you know, bring it all together. We're going to sing together to bring the Geula and we're going to say some Tehillim together. We're getting closer to Pesach. Let's try, let's try our best to help out when we can. Um, listen, I don't know if anyone here is listening to me, but be good to your parents. <laughs> help out when you need to help out stay out of their way when you need to stay out of their way and make it exciting and remember that it's a, it's every single yantif every one of the shalosh regalim is a time of simcha so when it feels like it's not simcha maybe because maybe there's fighting or whatever and that's normal remember that's just the yitzar hara he loves that he loves zapping simcha out of people's houses so when the Yitzhar comes and he starts making you stressed out, and by the way, I'm talking to myself also, you tell him, Yitzhar, buddy, get out of here. I don't have time for you. I'm choosing to be happy. And in this chus of all of us choosing to have shalom and being happy, we're going to see miracles. Let's do this together. Who's in? Who wants to take the challenge with me? I just made up a challenge on the spot. Who wants to take the challenge with me? Who wants to have the challenge? Yeah, 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 you, the corns and the Mishans and the... Artmans, all of you? Okay, I see you raising your hands. Okay, let's check in on Thursday and see how that went. Meanwhile, remember, you are all incredible kids. See you next time. Bye, everyone.